handguns, a rifle, and a whole lot of ammo. Deputies say if they hadn't stepped in, this small arsenal would have been used to carry out a mass shooting at a Fort Myers synagogue. Thank you for watching NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. Investigators say Alfredo Sanchez told people at the Chabad Lubavitch Synagogue he was fully capable of shooting up the place. And listen to this. Sanchez volunteered at the synagogue. His wife and children worship there. I'm Kelly Burns. Sanchez lived on Dean Way in South Fort Myers, right behind the synagogue. And there is a school on the campus. NBC2 has live team coverage. Investigator Evan Dean will join us in a moment looking at increasing threats at places of worship. But we begin with Claire Lavazorio live at the synagogue after speaking with the rabbi and his family about this scare. Sanchez told a friend he was one loose screw away from shooting up this synagogue behind me. Now, today I talked to the rabbi here and the rabbi's daughter, who says they are grateful for the authorities that prevented this near tragedy. A Fort Myers man threatened to shoot up his own place of worship, sending shockwaves through the Jewish community. He prayed, he studied, he helped out a lot. Um, really, really a good person from we saw. Rabbi Yitchcock Minowitz leads Chabad Lubavitch of Southwest Florida, today opening up about the threat made toward his synagogue by a man he knows well. I will tell you, as a rabbi and as a leader in the community, I must say I am so, so impressed with the detectives and the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Two days ago, the Lee County Sheriff's Office was notified about a shooting threat made by Alfredo Sanchez, who's a member of the Chabad with his wife and children. A search warrant didn't find any guns in Sanchez's home, although at a family member's house a few blocks away, detectives found this duffel bag with four guns inside. I'm just saddened that we have to live our lives worried about such things, and I wish that we would be able to live in a safer world and not be so scared about things like this happening. The synagogue does have security measures in place, which can't be discussed publicly. The rabbi sharing his gratefulness to those who stepped up to prevent a tragedy. We only know what we see. We don't know what we don't see. Sanchez is being held at the Lee County Jail right now without bond. He is expected to make his court appearance tomorrow morning. I'm live in Fort Myers tonight. Claire Lavazorio, NBC2. Claire, thank you. And investigators are looking into hate crime charges against Sanchez. Our team coverage continues with NBC2 investigator Evan Dean to show us how religion related hate crimes seem to be increasing in Florida. Yeah, good evening, guys. We have numbers from the Florida Attorney General, religion-related hate crimes by year. Let's start in 2014. You could see just 13 reported hate crimes. The next year, five more than that. And then take a look. In 2016, a big bump, 26 crimes. Then an even bigger jump in 2017, 46 religion-related hate crimes. Then we do have some good news. You can see a bit of a dip right here in 2018, just 31 crimes. This is the last available year of data. But keep in mind, many of these crimes go unreported, so the actual numbers likely higher than this. In our investigation earlier this month, we discovered places of worship here are rethinking their security measures. At McGregor Baptist in Fort Myers, they now have a full-fledged security team, including current and retired police officers who do carry guns at church. People who wish to cause difficulty have access to firearms and um, demonstrably it is a means to contain them. McGregor Baptist also checks bags at the door and has their team monitoring crowds. Sadly, they feel these are things they need to do in today's world. For the NBC2 Investigators, I'm Evan Dean.